Hello, this is tutorial number nine on Community Builder 2.0. Uh, today we'll be focusing a little on the portrait image and how we can configure it. Uh, let's first look at the Community Builder configuration area. We'll see that there's an Images tab that has various parameters and Let's just go through these. These are the default parameters basically that are used as a fallback for all images. Uh, these can also be overridden on an image by image basis. So let's just look at the default values. The default values basically call for an image height of 500 pixels, width of 200 pixels, maximum file upload size of 2 meg, the thumbnail size 88, oh no, 80, 86, and the default maximum thumbnail width is 60. And we've set here to maintain the aspect ratio. So basically, uh, any uploaded images will be resized to these dimensions. Now, and in the moderation tab, there's also a a parameter here which says require upload image approval that's also set to yes now these are the global parameters for all images but these can be overwritten uh, on a field by field basis so if I go to the avatar field I see here there's image limits and let's just go ahead and start saying that I want a 300 by 300 square profile image and let's keep let's override the file size to 1 meg instead of 2 meg the thumbnail height let's make this 100 by 100 now for maintain aspect ratio, what I'm going to select here is yes with cropping. What this means is when an image is resized, it'll be brought to the exact dimensions 300 by 300 or 100 by 100 for the thumbnail. And if needed, it'll be cropped instead of squished, <laughs> instead of stretched. Uh, and let's override the upload approval here. Say no. Okay, just save these. Now another, if you look at the image display here, we also have some styling that we can change. So right now the default is rounded, bordered. Let's change that. Well, let's see what that means. If we go into a, a profile here, right now it's rounded, bordered, but it's basically squared. Now, if I go and change this to circle bordered and save and refresh, we'll see what's happening. See, it's a circle border here. Okay, so let's go to a profile that doesn't have an image here. And let's just put this back for a second to the rounded border. Okay, now I have created a number of sample images here so we can test. So I have, uh, I have for example, one that's 500 by 300 and one that's 500 by 500. And the reason I have these two different images to show you what happens during upload and resizing based on my 300 by 300 and 100 by 100 uh, dimensions. So let's go to the front end here. And the first thing, let me just refresh this. Okay, back to the square. First thing I'll do is go update this person's profile and go to the portrait tab and select upload image. And we'll see that it's basically pulling in the 300 by 300 dimensions from the parameters I specified in the back end and the 1000k for the upload size. 
So I select an image. The first thing I'll do is I'll select a perfect square with a 500 by 500 and do an update. I will see this perfect, this 500 by 500 image has been resized to my 300 by 300 square dimensions that I specified. And it has also been resized for the thumbnail to 100 by 100. So these are perfect squares and we see that the resizing has basically kept the ratio at the same level. So we see the 500 by 500 is exactly in the middle, both, both in the main image and in the thumbnail. Now let's go back and update the portrait image with a new upload. And this time let's select the 500 by 300. So what's basically going to have to happen is, since this is not a perfect square, the resizing will have to crop part of the image in order to bring it to a perfect square. And if we look at this, the result, we'll see that there's some cropping that took place on the left side. Because we see the 5 is closer to the left side than the 0 here is to the right. So we see it's not as centered as it was because it had to crop to bring it to the size we specified. The same thing is, is evident here. So just so we know what, this, what the parameters and the settings uh, will, will do to the images. I mean, if we want to have perfect squares, uh, then we have to crop. And if people want to maintain and the, you know the image, they have to upload perfect squares. If they don't, there'll be just some cropping that will basically make uh, the image go to the left a little in the resulting square. Uh, if we go back and change now the the image display styling to circle bordered, we'll see this effect a little a little more because now we we're talking about a round image. So we we'll see. The same thing has happened here. The smaller the image, the less the effect, but here it kind of appears a little better, a little more. So as I specified, as I, as I said, each of each image that we create, each image field, has its own image limits and image display settings, which can override the default uh, community builder settings. And we can also have their own gallery. Each image field can have its own gallery. And all you have to do is specify the path and you can just upload gallery images uh, in your Joomla image folders and put the path here and Community Builder will pick it up. Okay, I think this is enough to, for you guys to experiment, I mean, and play with these parameters, but we'll see that it's very, very easy now to have exact image sizes, square or rectangular with cropping or with stretching, just by playing with these parameters. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.